I've only got a couple weeks to kill, and I thought it might be time for some Kenshi. It's been requested a lot, and I always kind of like, eh, it looks too janky. I've actually played a bit off stream and realized the game is actually amazing. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna play some start a Kenshi run today. In this particular playthrough, we're gonna be starting here in a moment. We are slaves of the Holy Nation, the oppressive and brutal Holy Nation, which does not shy away from taking slaves, nor does it shy away from uh, purging anything that it considers to be unholy, like for example skeletons and stuff like that. Let us begin the life of a pair of slaves, I believe who will be able to create our characters here. One of them's gonna be me, and one of them's gonna be you, lucky chat members. Who wants to be a slave? Let's find out in a second. The first person's gonna be... Ziggy! And we have two characters, so who's the second person gonna be, chat? Leon Sugarfoot. Mustachio and Topknot, I like it. All right, th this is you, Leon Sugarfoot. You can adjust my posture slightly. <laughs> As I said, you can make some real monstrosities in this game. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty dope. I like that. I like that. There is the <laughs> monstrous and terrifying Ziggy. Oh god. And the proud Leon Sugarfoot. <sighs> with a with a name like Leon Sugarfoot, he's gotta be pretty gotta be, he's, I think he's gotta he's gotta have the like kinda no nonsense. No nonsense. He won't take any shit. Despite being a slave. Not willing to take any shit. Golem esque <laughs> desert prawling. <laughs> and Leon Sugar the foot's like pulling me along <laughs> in like a I got like a neck brace on with a chain. He's like, come on, Ziggy. <laughs> uh we were both captured by the Holy Nation recently. What were we doing to get captured? We were out prowling one night. It was Leon was taking me for a walk. <laughs> Leon was uh was out taking me for a night walk. Uh, cause I was getting restless and was growling at the neighbors. So uh, he took me out for a night walk, but when we were beset upon by a Holy Nation enslavement band, they saw the hunched over Ziggy, and they're like, this abomination should not, should not be allowed to roam free. So we were also poor, and being poor is a crime in the Holy Nation, so uh, we, uh, they, they enslaved us. Let us start. Uh-uh, I'm free! I'm getting the hell out of here! <laughs> I don't think that's likely. We're unlikely to escape. I'm just going to tell you right now, folks. We're very unlikely to escape right here at the first moment. But this is our. This is the basically salt mines. This is Twitch chat of the Holy Nation Twitch chat. Yo, let's run. We're free. Oh no, we have shackles on. We're shackled. <laughs> it's morning. We escaped during the night. We're like, let's get out of here. One day of enslavement was too much for us. We're like, quick, let's go. Let's run. Leon says, come on, Ziggy, come on, here, here, boy, here, boy, let's go, let's flee. There's a, there's a gate, I see freedom, I see freedom. Maybe we should try and take the shackles off. Okay, all right, all right, let's try and take the shackles off. Unlock the shackles, help me unlock the shackles, <laughs> Leon, help, big failed. 24% chance, it's all right, they haven't noticed us yet. <laughs> Quickly, let's go. <laughs> I'll take the shackles off, we're not gonna get very far. Oh no, they've seen us! Oh, they've seen us! The only thing for it is to fight. Wait, is he, has he noticed? Is he, oh, yeah, he's noticed. All right, the only thing for it is to fight. We must fight for our freedom. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Our, our first attempt at escape didn't go so well. Ah. Oh, oh God, no, we're already down, stop. We're already down. Oh, keep still. <laughs> oh, well, it didn't go so well, chat. It did not go so well. Ziggy is, uh, he's not doing great. I hope they give us some basic medical attention or this could be a very short run. I got up for a second and the guy like cleaved us both. <laughs> the giant plank sword things. They're patching, they're patching Leon up. What? They're gonna patch, they, are they patching me up too? All right, good, they're patching me up. All right, well, now, now I'm in a cage. Now I'm in a cage. All right, so as you'll see very soon here, uh, they don't treat their slaves the best. Um, they do at least provide medical attention uh, to protect their investment after they give us a merciless beating for attempting to escape. 
Uh, we saw the folly of our actions and realized we're going to have to be much more clever about this if we're going to escape. If we're going to escape successfully in the future, we're going to have to bide our time, we're going to have to be smart about it, we're going to have to build up our strength, we're going to have to become much better at lockpicking, that's for sure. I'm going to have to escape. Maybe we're going to have to free some other slaves to help us escape as well. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, you've served your time. You're free to go. Now scram. So you'll see, uh, you'll see now that we have a job which our, our, our characters automatically carry out while we're enslaved, which is to be an obedient slave. So basically, do, we just do whatever we tell them, whatever they tell us, and we don't have control over our character. If we take control over our character and do something else that they're not telling us to do, then they'll, uh, well, you saw what happened. They'll give us a merciless beating and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then put us back in a cage for a while again. So, uh, right now Ziggy's getting back to work. He, he got some basic medical attention. Apparently my arm's injured because I'm like running around like, oh, oh, I don't feel so good, man. I don't feel so good. I don't know why I'm holding my arm like this. It's just a car it's just a weird affectation I have. Um, but yeah, back to work, whatever I'm up to, I'm Guess I'm gonna go like probably mine some stone somewhere. Leon, however, did get a bit more of a savage beating, so he's currently unconscious in a cage. In a cage, <laughs> so he's gonna have to rest a little while longer, I think. But what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to be clever about this. We're gonna have to practice our lock picking skills. We're gonna have to build up our strength. This could take days. It could take weeks. It could take months of real time. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully we escape sooner than that. Our goal today, during today's stream, will be to escape. If we can escape today, I'll be pleased. <laughs> yeah, it's probably because my left arm is super damaged. These guys are going smashing some rocks. I don't know where Ziggy's been told to go. It looks like I'm running up the mountain. But, you know, the good thing is, uh, all this running is going to be working on my athletics. My athletic skill is slowly increasing, which is good, because if I'm going to make a, a, da a daring escape at some point, we're probably going to need to run fast. So, building up our athletics is good. This is all training. The slave work, you know, as much as we hate it, is training. Once Leon Sugarfoot recovers, hopefully he's able to do something useful as well. But here, here's our plan. We start to form a plan. In our brief moments we have together, we start to form a plan. Independently, we're both going to have to work on our skills, be able to free ourselves and then each other, if necessary. And then other slaves, if possible. Because the more phrase, slaves we free at once, we can we can escape in the, in the craziness. If we, can, if we can free a bunch of slaves, and it's not just us then the guards will have their hands full and at least some of us will maybe get out of here. What you need to do is get prison buff. Exactly. And you see now that Ziggy has made it to his designated stone mining area and probably for the rest of the day he's going to be mining. But we are, we will be building up our strength, which will increase our carry rate and our damage in combat and things like that. All of that could be very helpful to, for us. So going to be building up our strength and eventually at some point we're going to have to break out of our cages. I think at night will be our chance to train our lock picking skills to try and steal some, we'll have to steal some food because you know we'll be lucky if they feed us but I do see uh you know there's some supplies in the area that we can maybe we can maybe get. So if we can at night steal some rations maybe share them amongst ourselves. Keep our strength high not give in to malnutrition. We are already currently rather malnourished. You can see our stats here. So I did. I did take some. I have some arm injuries, which are slowly healing. Leon uh, took a, a couple massive beatings in the belly, so his stomach is very wounded. Um, and we're both hungry. We're already hungry. We haven't been fed in days. What's this game about? Kenshi is about a whole bunch of different things, but it's like a sandbox game. It's a sandbox RPG. You can control one person and you know travel around, exploring, fighting, doing sorts of things like that. Um, or you can uh, control a whole bunch of people, build up a colony. Uh, play it like RimWorld esque. You could be a shopkeeper, you can be a trader, you can be a merchant, you can be a slaver. <laughs> In this scenario, we are both slaves, me and Leon Sugarfoot. We're both slaves, and uh, our objective at the moment is to escape our slavery, and it's gonna be a little bit we're gonna be a little bit tricky. <laughs> it's gonna be a little tricky. <laughs> Why is your dexterity minus one, the hand injury? Likely, yes. Yep. 18% minus due to injuries and minus 6% due to, due to hunger. Um, our clothing does provide some small protection and bonuses. But, uh, yeah, we are, we are both a bit in injured. He's currently resting in here and slowly healing up his stomach, but uh, Leon's awake now, so... And the guards have forgotten about him, so this actually represents a good opportunity for us. We might be able to uh, try and... We don't want to unlock our shackles, because if they see us, our shackles unlocked, 
they'll know that we've tried to escape. But if we try and pick the lock on the cage, we can work on our lock picking skill here. And every failed attempt will improve our lock pick. And see, it's a 46% of one of level one at the moment. <laughs> so if we can slowly improve our lock picking, our chances of escape in the future will be much faster and much better. We are uh, actually managed to. <laughs> we wait, 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 wait. We actually managed to open it already. All right. Now I can just sneak out here. Oh wait, there's a guard. There's a guard. It's all right. Hold on. Just, just wait. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. Uh, uh. I'm being a good slave. Is he about to set me? Ah, damn. <laughs> you remembered. I remembered. What? Oh, we, we left the slave on the roof. That's all right. We worked on our lock picking skills a bit. That's good. We're living the slave life for a little while now. It is uh, early afternoon. We we'll let our characters go about their slave duties, building up their strength. Ziggy's up to strength three, almost strength four. So he's getting stronger. We're getting stronger. Ziggy's recovering. Leon's stomach is slowly recovering. You control them directly? You can, yes. Except when they're a slave like this, if you do try to control them directly and do them something that do have them do something their masters don't tell them to do, the guards will beat you mercilessly <laughs> and put you in a cage. So uh, we try not to do that unless the guards aren't looking. But as you can see, we're being watched right now. And even Ziggy, who's currently not like directly in the sight of the guards, wouldn't really get far or do anything useful right now to try and escape. So we leave ourselves on the job obedient slave for the moment until the guards aren't looking. But normally, you do, yes, you do control them and tell them to do things. But you can also set up jobs that they'll do uh, repetitiously. So you can set up like a whole bunch of different jobs they'll do. Like mine this, take this, craft this thing, sow these seeds, water these crops. So you can get them to do all that sort of stuff as well. So you do directly control them. Our strength is increasing. The toughness of Leon Sugarfoot has gone up. Toughness increases by getting your ass handed to you in combat. <laughs> getting beat up increases your toughness. So Leon Sugarfoot's a little tougher than Ziggy now, having been absolutely brutalized earlier and having his kidneys just, well, slammed repeatedly. Yes, Ziggy's going to a cage. All right, this is where we want to be because this is a bit more a chance for us to steal some rations. So hopefully there's an opportunity for us to steal some rations. So as soon as the guards... Wait, there's no cages here. No, 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 no! There's no cages! Okay, there's a cage downstairs. Oh, but there's a guard right there! No! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck you other slaves taking the good cages. Leon's gonna subtly try and work on his lockpicking on this pole here. Oh, he's leaving! He's leaving! Where's he going? Is he? He went to bed! He went to bed! All right, pick the lock. He actually went to bed, I can't believe it. He's probably not supposed to sleep. So I'm guard. I know, I can't believe I got scammed with the good cages, but this could end up working out all right. All right, tense moments now while we, like, make sure no other guards happen to wander by or this guy doesn't wake up in the middle of the night for a pee break or something like that. While we try and pick our locks. Ziggy is apparently a good lock picker. Only lock picking level three, but good on the RNG. Now slit the guards' throat. You can assassinate, but I think our chances of that happening successfully are a little low. <laughs> I have to press escape. That's what I need. Okay. All right. Now's our chance. Shit. <laughs> z, 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 z. Okay. Is there any... There's dried fish over there. Grog, fuel, holy flame. I don't know about me getting the dried fish that's right next to him. I could check the things. Nothing in the storage chest. Our sneaking skills are really bad right now, so... Oh, fuck, there's another guard right there. Get back in the cage, get back in the cage! You saw nothing! <laughs> you saw nothing! <laughs> you saw nothing! Wait, where did that... Oh, the other guard was sleeping there, and now he's woke up. Shit. Alright, well, I got a little bit of sneaking practice in. <laughs> 5%. You reckon go for it? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We get a beating? We're hungry, we need to eat. I'm going to see if I can go upstairs. Oh shit, hold on. Oh, because I locked myself back in. Whoops. <laughs> Leon has successfully managed to lockpick himself out, but I don't know where we go or what we do with him. He could at best cause a distraction maybe, but that would probably just... It would maybe give me a chance to like catch the... F to grab the fish. I could grab the fish. I don't know if Leon would appreciate another beating, but... I mean, I could unlock my shackles. As long as I don't take them off, they might not notice. Maybe I'll work on unlocking my shackles then. Freeing some of the other slaves might cause a distraction. They're going to suffer a beating for, for my for my own personal gain, but we've got to do what we've got to do. Eventually, I'd like, you know, I'd love to free all the slaves, and that could be a long-term goal. At the moment, we've got to look after ourselves. Wait, is he going to bed? <gasps> they're both in bed. Okay, they're both in bed. All right. 
All right, I want to try and grab the fish. We need food. Oh shit, slow it down. <laughs> I got the fish at least. At least I got the fish. <laughs> at least I got the fish. <laughs> yeah, put me in the cage. It's fine. I'll get back in the cage. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. I, cha I changed my mind. I am like, I'm not. <laughs> this is good. This is progress. I've eaten food. My my hunger meter is going up. That's good. Having uh, malnutrition like we do now lowers our stats and everything quite a lot. So it makes us weaker and weaker over time. So definitely getting some food is a high priority. So I count that as a big win. Great. Now my shackles. This guy actually wants to get out. We should leave quickly. No, you, you, you leave. Leon also needs to try and find some food. He's actually following me. He's like, this guy's got a plan. Let's follow him. <laughs> Don't follow me. It's not a good idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> um, <laughs> he hasn't noticed me. <laughs> I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Other oh, slave. Other oh, slave. Maybe if I just stay here. <laughs> the vision is based on movement. Okay, Ziggy's been put back to work. He made some progress though. But what is gonna happen with Leon? I'm very curious as to what happens here. Hopefully these guards like leave to go to work. Alright, this guy's not looking. I do not know how he did not notice. And what happened to the I think the other slave is getting Yep. Yeah, that's the other slave. If you wonder what happened to the other slave friend we had, well, Poor guy's not doing so well. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Poor guy's not doing so well. Sorry, Gurgle. <laughs> Gurgle's uh Gurgle's getting patched up. We'll try and rescue him again in the future. Good old Gurgle. I don't know if this guy's gonna leave. Okay. Shit! <laughs> no! No, sir! I'm sorry, sir! I'm sorry, I'm getting back in my cage. <laughs> Yo. This is fun. This is for <laughs> this stupid guard. He's like, good, and stay there. The hell are you doing out of your cage? <laughs> there goes that guy. If we can, like, hide during the day, then we don't have to work during the day. That would actually be even better than the night. Because in the night, they're in the barracks. But during the day, like, I don't think they're upstairs during the day, right? Like, there's a few, there's a few prisoners that have been punished in the cages. But if we could be, like, upstairs during the day, there's a chance we could, uh... Maybe get more done. Okay. Ah, oh, she's putting back to work though. He remembered. If they end up like forgetting about me for a while, there's like things we could get done. All right. Well, we made progress. Ziggy had a fish. Leon has improved his lock picking skill a lot. We got poor uh, Gurgle. Uh, he, he, got, he got his ass just beat mercilessly. In this game, if you like get downed, get like beaten up, it's usually not game over. Unless, unless like all your characters die. You can uh, potentially like get enslaved or have your stuff stolen. <laughs> And then, like, carry on. So, interesting things can happen in this game. When you fail. <laughs> I thought that was a big hamster wheel for a second. Like a slave hamster wheel. <laughs> Get in and run slaves. The guard's not looking. This guard likes to run back and forth every now and then. I'm going to maybe just at least practice my sneaking. If nothing else, I, I can practice my sneaking. Maybe I can, like, hide here until night. You reckon they would come back here? They might notice when they go to pick these uh, slaves up. But maybe if I just hide behind the building, if I just stay perfectly still, they might not notice. <laughs> they, like, wait, wasn't that? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, he didn't notice. <laughs> he didn't see me. <laughs> I'm going to move around this way a little bit more. Being outside might not have that many advantages, but it's something to try. So Ziggy's going to try. Maybe Leon will wait and get put in, hopefully, one of the cages and can grab some food. I'll pick your shackles while waiting. That's a good idea. And then I can take them off when I need to. Do the shackles make noise if you try and sneak around with them on? Uh, they don't have any sneaking penalties. They just slow you down a crap load. Stealth 9 minus 15. Where's the minus from? Minus 56 armor and equipment. Oh, no, you're right. It looks like the uh, maybe the shackles are lowering it. Oh, it's because the shackles weigh 20 kilograms. Time for us to reflect on the teachings of the Holy Phoenixes. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I would love to reflect on the Holy Phoenixes. Let us not yearn for pleasures of the flesh. Yes, I definitely don't want or need food. Uh, 107 hunger is fine. Learn, uh, let us yearn only for the love of our creator. Let us carry out Okran's will with blood and toil. Yes, sir. Uh, do you think I could toil harder with more food, baby? Let us purge the world of darkness with our faith in Okran as our swords. 
Yes, sir. I agree, sir. Very wise, sir. Leon's hunger is uh, real bad. Yeah, we got we're suffering some uh, minus eighty four strength from hunger. It's pretty. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Looks like the slaves might be going to bed. Uh, please don't grab the stocks. Please don't grab the stocks. Yes, this is a good sign. Wait, someone's trying to escape. <laughs> Someone was trying to escape over there. This is this is good. This is very good. Okay, hopefully we can find some food. Please, be, uh, I think green fruit is unprocessed. I don't think we can eat that. All right, start lock picking. I'm gonna wait a little until it's a little later, and hopefully they're asleep. For now, we'll see if we can get Leon some food because he's gonna die if he doesn't get some food. He's only gonna get weaker, and it's only gonna get harder to escape. Okay, that's good. Okay, sneak. Please be some food. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Please be some food. Uh, I mean, I'll take the green fruit, but what does the wrench do? Anything? Can't eat the green fruit until it's been processed. Yeah, it needs cooking until it's edible. Uh, all right. I don't know if I can, I think I can. Okay, there's a guard there. Unfortunately, the fish from there has already been stolen. We already ate that fish. Maybe I set some of these guys. How did you do that? Set these guys free and maybe they'll distract the guards. No, oh, he's going. He's going. Uh-oh. What is he doing? He stole his weapon! Oh my god, he stole the guard's weapon! What the fuck? That guy's a badass! <laughs> How did he manage that? He stole a weapon! Oh shit! He's probably still gonna get his ass handed to him, but... That guy's going for it! He's actually doing work! She! She's actually doing work! Holy fuck, she's beating that guy up! Um, what are you doing? Set him free. Uh, sometimes they don't want to go free. This guy might not want to go free. Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. Uh, what is going on over here? What is going on over here? 100% height in her veins. She's she's fighting. They're fighting up the cliff, apparently. I don't know how that's happening, but she's not going to last much longer. She's actually beating that guy down, though. I don't know how they ended up on top of the cliff. Don't ask me about that. No, what are you doing? See, some of them just don't want it. They're like, no, I don't. Now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> They're like, no, don't free me. <laughs> Damn it. Brilliant. I just need to open this cage. All right, this one actually wants to go. You're crazy if you think you can get away. Some of them don't have the temperament for escaping. She's still fighting? She's still fighting. Yo, one less guard to worry about, maybe. We won't forget this, friend. All right, maybe tonight's the night. Ziggy's, like, kind of already outside, so... Maybe Ziggy can sneak into the barracks here. Might have to multitask a bit here. Yeah, I'll free the Sheck. They're maybe a bit more likely to fight. I'll pay you back somehow, I will. All right, Leon's just gonna free as many people as possible. Meanwhile, Ziggy's gonna just poke his head just in the door. Just... They're all asleep. They're all asleep. <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> I got a food cube! I got a food cube! I got a food cube! I think he might have noticed. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. You steal from a holy paladin? This guy, because this guy maybe just thinks he's streaming or something. Okay, I got a food cube, and there's a bit of food for Leon if we can like get Leon out of here. Fuck, one of them's awake. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Run behind the building. Now sneak. Now sneak. You saw nothing. Okay, maybe just Ziggy tries to sneak off now. He has food, and maybe he can meet up with Leon. Okay, Ziggy. Time to sneak for it, buddy. Sneak for it! <laughs> I didn't think we'd be getting out tonight, but there's a possibility here. 
Let's have a little peek down the stairs. Okay, the guard. There's only one guard because I think the other guard got savaged. <laughs> so I'm gonna. S I'll see if I can steal their weapon. <laughs> they don't have a weapon. This is the one who got their weapon stolen. <laughs> okay. No, is it? Yeah. Okay. They don't have a weapon. <laughs> if I try and steal their money or anything, they're just gonna. Uh, they're just gonna wake up. I think we just go. Are the other ones coming? Okay. The other ones look like they they're preparing to leave. I I'd prefer if they were right with me. Uh, I'm gonna take the grog because if we can, ha if we do get away, we we'll want something to trade. That might like, wake them up though. Okay, I got the grog. Grog's worth a lot, so. Water? You don't actually need water in this game. A water jug is, I don't think, worth that much. Nah, and it weighs it weighs a bit. We don't really want to. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's not weighing that much. You don't actually need water in this game. Outlaw! Oh shit! I think he noticed. Did he notice? I think he's going for the other ones. All right, okay. Ziggy's making his way up the mountain pass. That's good. Ziggy's in the clear, pretty much. Ziggy actually, like, beast mode, just full Metal Gear Solid snuck out. Leon's going to have a much more difficult time of things. Oh, God, I wish these other slaves were here. Slaves, you come down already. Come help me, please. <laughs> Yeah, we, I needed the others to get past the gate. There's too many guards to run past. There's no chance without the others. Maybe we have to try and run past the guard. Ow. <laughs> you punched me. Yes, help! Help! <laughs> okay, maybe we can beat this guard before any other guards notice. I don't see any other guards going. We gotta rotate aggro here. Get him! Beat him good! One damage! <laughs> One damage! <laughs> for reference, is I punched him in the left arm for one damage. That's good, that's good. Help, help! Help, help! Alarmed raised? Ah, oh, shit, that's not good. Alright, we might have to make a run for it then. Help, help me fight. Help me fight. If we can beat this guard and take his stuff, that'll help. Get him, get him. Get him good. Looting heretic. <laughs> I'm gonna loot you. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Alarm raised. Ah, oh, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Oh, fuck. Are these two following? Okay, no, we're gonna make a run for it. This is not gonna work. We're, not, we're never gonna be able to beat that guy before morning. <laughs> he would fight us for days. <laughs> we gotta run. We just gotta run. I would have preferred to get more slaves out, but we'll come back for you, I promise. <laughs> I promise we'll come back. Oh, it's so slow. I don't like my odds of getting past these gate guards. Oh god, they're so fast. When the bar goes below 88, you will pass out. Oh no. Maybe I gotta run into the maybe I'll get some food before we go. I would rather be like put into another cage but have gotten some food than to make a, a terrible escape attempt here now. I'm just run ah, off pure adrenaline. Don't right beat now. me! <laughs> Don't beat me, please. <laughs> Help me. Help me, friends. <laughs> Look, we're fighting. We're fighting, see? Huh. Dodge. <laughs> Maybe if I just sneak now. Shh. <laughs> um, dried fish. Get the dried fish. Okay, that'll keep me going for the moment. <laughs> it, they didn't notice. They didn't notice. <laughs> Assassination attempt. Get him. Failed, no XP, no! <laughs> no, no looting! <laughs> yes, yes, looting. Alright. That might be enough. I got some dried fish. <laughs> this guy's too fast. The other guys are gonna catch me. Where'd the third one go? There was the third one, wasn't there? Oh, he's downed over here. Shit. Oh, no. He's unconscious. Oh, man. Two slaves. I don't know if two slaves is going to be enough. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. All right. You guys distract him. I'm going to try and free some more. We need, like, m we need more. Does the bottom ga gate have less guards? Let's have a look. It's almost daytime. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, top gate has... One, two, three, four, five. Bottom gate has... 
One, two, three, four, five. Five on both. I gotta get some more slaves out. Distract him while I lockpick. Look, my lockpicking's really good. We can do this fast. Okay, this one actually wants to be freed. That's good. If they don't want to be freed, we just ignore them. If they don't value their freedom... Lock shackles. Yes, go help. Oh, yes! <laughs> we, we, maybe with enough to help, <laughs> we might be able to beat him down. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's come to his help. I think they're waking up the slaves now. How did you do that? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. This guy's got a weapon. You did it! Okay, now... Go! Run! Make a run for it! Uh, this might be the most that I can free in time, I think. I don't know if we're going to be able to free anyone else. They're distracted, but maybe I can get, like... Oh, no. Okay, this is not good. It's time for Sugarfoot to get those sweet feet pumping, I think. Help! Help! Oh no! Help! Oh god. I'm getting my ass beat. This is not good. If I'm like, if I'm in danger of dying on the road, we don't have any medical supplies. Oh god. I don't have a med kit. Oh man. I feel like this... <laughs> it might not be a success. <laughs> woo, 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 Sugarfoot, go! Go, Sugarfoot! No, no, not that way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Woo! <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Now's our chance. Now's our chance. Sneak. <laughs> what are you plotting? I'm trying to get away, obviously. <laughs> obviously, I'm trying to get away. No, oh, they're too fast. They're trained, they're trained soldiers. <laughs> oh, God. No. No. Oh, shit. No, there's so many of them. Oh, God. I submit. I submit. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. All right, Ziggy. It's up to you to rescue Leon Sugarfoot. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. We at least got some food. We're very injured. But I should go put us in a cage and give us some medical attention at least. <sighs> Maybe Ziggy can find some supplies, find some weapons and help with the breakout. But he's outside. Ziggy's Ziggy's free, but he Leon is his Leon is his best friend. Leon is the one who took him for all those walks, fed him all those fish heads. So it's up to Ziggy to find something. Some way of helping Leon. There's a lone shack up in the mountains, apparently. Maybe we could try and make our way to the lone shack. In the meantime, Ziggy's going to have to try and live off the land or something. Uh, he has half a food cube, which will keep him going for a while. Doesn't have any equipment. This looks like it's on the other side of Rebirth. I don't know if we can actually get there from here. You might want to lose the escape sla slave tag. Seven hours remaining on the escape slave tag. And I think you get the look like a slave for a, 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 quite a while. And you need to wear like a disguise to get rid of that. We're not gonna, unless we can find some clothes somewhere, we're not really gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna move down the road here. We're gonna have to watch out for Holy holy Nation peeps. Where are we gonna try and go though? We, keeping in mind that we, we're not just leaving Leon to his fate. We wanna, tr we do wanna try and rescue Leon. This just looks like an endless desert of despair. There's a bird. Probably gonna eat me. Blister Hill. I wonder if that's a Holy Nation town. I could go see if there's slavers there, which is probably pretty likely. But maybe we could steal some food from there or something and then meet up with Leon. Okran's Gulf. It's probably Holy Nation. I think we're in like the center of Holy Nation territory at the moment. Okran's Pride. Yeah, this is definitely Holy Nation. Okran's like their god. Okran's Gulf. South. Of we have to get south of Okran's Gulf or like far to the north. 
That's like cannibal territory, so it seems seems unwise. Oh shit. Hungry bandits. Okay, we want to avoid those. <laughs> we don't really have any food for them, but still. I don't really want to get beat up by a bunch of hungry bandits. All right, Leon, where are you, mate? Leon is where Ziggy uh, is where Ziggy hid that time. Yo. Can I just like sneak off and hide right now? No, I'm not escaping. I'm not escaping. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not escaping. God damn it. <laughs> I was just testing, just testing sneaking. Well, Leon's going back in the cage. Maybe this presents... <laughs> How dare you hunch down? You will pay for heretic hunch. He's crouching, get him! <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> you were escape adjacent. <laughs> Poor Leon. Poor Leon. Oh god, Leon. I'm sorry, buddy. Well, I guess I'll try and head down further to the south. I don't know if I should go towards Blister Hill. That could be a mistake. I look a lot like a slave right now. What's Le Where's Leon right now? In a cage inside. Is this guy dead? Oh, it's just some robes. Okay. Grog. We're inside a different building this time. I mean, that could be good if I can wake up and sneak away. Maybe if I stay in this building until night, <laughs> we can grab some food from in here. There's nothing else super useful. Tools. Uh, wait, there's bread right there. Oh, shit. It's like a character's unconscious. Okay, bread's good. Okay, so there is some bread we can get there if we can if we can sneak out. We can grab some bread and then, like, try and sneak out. Maybe the next day? We get to, If we get fed and healed, and if I can get myself put outside, maybe we can do pull a Ziggy and sneak behind the building. Meanwhile, Ziggy's going to see what he can find. Probably want to not be directly on the roads if we can help it. There's more ruins over there. Obedience. <laughs> the Shrieking Forest. The Fog Islands. Escaping, in, escaping into the Fog Islands, maybe. Let's keep going this way. See what I can find. Discovered Holy Military Base. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That might not be what we want to find. <laughs> there it is up there. So there's a holy military base over there. Ziggy is now an ex-slave. Yeah, so 50% looks like a slave. 94 hours time remaining. A 2,500 credit bounty. So if I... There's a chance I could walk past someone if I'm not too close to them and they might, may not notice, but we'd have to find some different clothes. Like, I think at the moment, taking the clothes off, I don't think helps. No, nah, yeah, it's better with the clothes on, but it's still 50%. If we get different clothes and more, more clothing items, get like a hat and boots and stuff, we'll look a lot less like a slave, which can let us actually kind of like walk around without them noticing. Since we are human, we do have the advantage of if we get to the point where they don't notice we're a slave, we can uh, maybe achieve something. Well, I'm technically outside, but it's not really a uh, ideal spot. Yeah, no, he's going back inside. Being over here would be perfect. You know, I feel like the Foglands could be a good place to hide out. I don't know if the uh, Holy Empire would live there. I'm going to head down this road. It's time for some sneaking, Leon. It's time for some sneaking, buddy. I know you haven't eaten, but maybe you can make it to Lone Shack. Maybe Ziggy can meet you on the north side. Oh, that's not ideal. <laughs> Knock him out. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Hold up. I gotta hide somewhere. Can I hide back here? Shh. Maybe I can just hide. Illegal crouching. No, don't notice. Don't notice me. Don't notice me. Shh. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. It's a few hours until night. There is a, there is a, like, a guard outpost there. I could maybe, like, snag some food on the way out. It's a, it's a, it's a long shot. I'm not gonna lie, it's a long shot. How's Ziggy going in the meantime? 
It's discovered ruined holy outpost. Okay, wait, that could be good. That implies it's not currently being occupied, right? So this place is in ruins? Yo, this could be perfect. Oh shit, who's that? I didn't. I almost didn't see them. Fogmen? They're apparently hostile. Oh god, who are fogmen? They look like the insect people. But they're apparently hostile. Oh shit. Okay, we better, we better, we better. I've never run into a fogman before, but they seem to be. They appear to be hostile. So, oh shit, there's a bunch of them. Holy fuck, there's a lot. Wait, who are these? Hungry bandits? Escaped servants? Wait, the escaped servants will be like. They should be friendly with me. They're gonna fight the fogman. Chat, this represents an opportunity. <laughs> Maybe we can scavenge the battlefield. Maybe the escape servants win. We can at least find some like basic clothing that doesn't look like slave clothing, perhaps. Okay. I definitely in no position to be helping, but uh, maybe we can chill out over a little further away. Is this Fogman ca captured this guy? Is he coming to get me? Oh shit, he's coming to get me, isn't he? <laughs> oh shit, he's coming to get me. He's carrying another guy and he's coming to get me. What the fuck? <laughs> Total speed 15. Total speed 16. I'm slightly faster than him. Oh shit, this guy's got. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Uh, I gotta. I gotta run and hide. Oh shit. Okay, run this way. Wonder if the Fogman eat them. Okay, he's leaving me. He's leaving me. All right, we're gonna hide in these ruins while these guys fight, and then if they don't like eat them all or something, ah, uh, the fogman just just murdered them, and they didn't even leave any bodies for me. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! Did they uh, did they eat the people? They they must eat the they must eat them. Well, I don't know if this is just a patrol or if they live in these ruins. They look like they're going back into the ruins. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, yeah, no, nah, they're eating him. Oh, God, they're eating him. Oh, God, and they're, like, worshipping while they eat. Oh, okay, Fogman bad. Fogman bad. All right, never mind. This place is not the refuge I hoped it was. <laughs> Kenshi in a nutshell. 